Welcome and thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Psychor Water Cooler, the casual conversation podcast dedicated to covering all things related to Psychor, including product updates, implementations, insights, getting the most out of your Psychor investment, and more. I'm your host, John Price, Psychor Practice Director and MVP at AmericanEagle.com. To set the stage for today, Psychor Symposium 2022 is just around the corner. Psychor has been very busy on their journey to Composable, especially in the content space. Psychor has been a leader in content management and orchestration for over a decade. Through differing market acquisitions and competitive changes, Psychor is continuing to iterate and going all in to ensure they remain the leader in the content space. That will be the focus today leading up to the new and exciting announcements at this year's symposium. I'm very excited for today's episode as I am joined at the water cooler by Corey Solly, Vice President of Enterprise SaaS Sales at Psychor. We're also joined by Maggie Burke, a Program Manager with AmericanEagle.com's Psychor team. Corey, Maggie, welcome to the show. Thanks, John. Thank you. So to kick off today, Corey, maybe tell us a little bit more about your uh, your new role with Psychor. Sure. Um, again, Corey Solly, uh, I'm at the Enterprise SaaS Sales, or VP of Enterprise SaaS Sales. Um, and my team is specifically focusing in on, on all the new cool stuff that we're doing, right? I mean, everybody, one of the things we talk about is like new Sitecore, right? This isn't the Sitecore that people who have known Sitecore for a long time think of. Um, so we're really specifically focusing on, on selling all of our um, SaaS composable solutions. So everything from XM Cloud to Content Hub to Personalize, Order Cloud, the gamut. And, and we're, you know, we're going to be announcing new things as well. Um, and so and uh, that's for the for the Americas, basically, for, for North America. So I've been at Sitecore for about three and a half years. Um, I came over as actually part of the initial acquisition of Style Labs Content Hub. So I had been focusing very much on um, the Content Hub sales specialist and, and that, you know, helping with that team globally. So this now is, is super fun and exciting for me because I get to sell all of our composable SaaS solutions. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it's very exciting to see what Sitecore has been doing in the space, especially over the last year and a half. And you mentioned, you know, some of the maybe some of those new and exciting things. So, you know, Leading up to the symposium, what are some of the mo- things that you're most excited about this year's symposium and kind of where Sitecore is going overall in the marketplace? I'm most excited about the, our our vision for where we really where we have things today, but also our vision for the future. I mean, I think that um, this is our composable, what we call composable model, is the right solution for our customers moving forward. It is the way that they're going to be able to be agile with what they're um, their own tech stack looks like their own product development. Um, it's how they're going to be able to, you know, ba- you know, basically get the newest and latest and greatest trend out there that that their their customers expect really easily just through adding a, a particular component. So uh, through the last year, you know, we went we had those all those acquisitions, and th- this last year has really been about building up to this stage now where we really have a great. Um, not just a great message, but great solutions to help people with that, with their um, their agile stack. Wonderful. And Maggie, you're a Cycro Symposium veteran. You spoke at Cycro Symposium last year with Renown Health and one of the featured slots. You know, what, what are you most excited to learn about this year's symposium? Well, one, I would say I'm glad to be there in person after the last two have been virtual. Um, but I think Part of what I'm most excited about with Symposium is the fact that there is this brand new suite of products that we're talking about, and it's really taking Sitecore into the future. I've been here for close to five years, and most of my clients are on legacy products. So it's going to be really interesting to learn how they can utilize things like Content Hub, utilize things like CDP and Personalize, because while we've been implementing a lot of those recently, how can we take that further? You know, How can we talk to them about, okay, now we've implemented Content Hub, and you have the basics of it, but how do we kind of bring that into your organization and drive your business goals out of that? So, sure. sure. I mean, Sitecore has gone in on the composable stack, moving fully to SaaS. So I'm sure we're going to learn a little bit more about XM Cloud and some of those other announcements mm-hmm. that everyone's very excited to learn about. Um, so I think just the overall mentality going in is a lot of clients are like, how can I get away from Sitecore upgrades and things along those lines? So I'm just guessing they'll probably be a little bit of more detail on XM Cloud and some of your other newer SaaS offerings. Yeah, I mean, it's we're super excited. I mean, we are going to be the only um, web content management system in the marketplace that is a truly full SaaS solution, like truly full SaaS, no more upgrades no more uh, you know the pain of upgrades like there's just going to be you know constant releases 
But at the same time, you know, there's the headless mechanism. There's going to be, the, you know, being able to leverage microservices. It's all of the things that we've talked about in terms of mock aligned architecture. That's that's it's SaaS, but it's also it's also all all of those pieces as well, which is super exciting. Yeah, and even customers and prospects out in the marketplace, even if they're not using Sitecore's web content management piece, there's so many other capabilities they could be looking at. They could be looking at Content Hub Dam for digital transformation. They could be looking at personalizing CDP to help you know orchestrate that personalization layer, even if they're on like a WordPress. So I think Sitecore Symposium this year is going to be much more, I don't want to use the word broad, but it's not going to be so tied and specific to like a DXP. So I'm just excited to see all the range of topics that's going to kind of you know build your own journey at this year's symposium. You can learn about a bunch of different stuff in a bunch of different places. So definitely going to be an exciting year. Yeah, I think I mean I think the umbrella term that is still out there is a because a, a, the DXP that's it's such a broad term anyway, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's really still meant to be that umbrella. But the idea is instead of it being a monolithic one platform that's going to have all these features functions, you have these composable pieces that make up that that you can t you can pick right to your point. If somebody has WordPress or another um, CMS, you can use our personalize. You can have, um, we have a new search coming up. You can use search for that, you know, and things like that. So I think that's that's the thing about it. You don't you don't need to, to choose everything. You can get one little piece and get get additional value really quickly. Yeah. I, I think the one thing you just mentioned will definitely be interesting is Sitecore's acquisition of reflection. We'll definitely see kind of Sitecore's take on content search so i yes. think we're definitely very excited me as a kaveo guru i'm very <laughs> i am very excited to see where it fits in the marketplace what the differentiators are and how it could be used so very excited to see that yeah yep yeah, that's a big that's a big one that they'll be talking about next week um any specific keynotes or sessions i saw Sitecore just made the keynotes looks like it's free virtually which is great to see so even if you're not in chicago you still see the keynotes mm -hmm. online which is great but how about any other keynotes or sessions that you would recommend either one of you uh that you there are must sees this year uh for sure it's i mean i would definitely obviously you want to you want to listen to, to our ceo steve ta kind of talking about the site core vision overall um, Dave Flanagan, who's the head of our product you for sure want to see that one because it's um that's he's going to be really talking about how you know what we're really doing with the, with the go-to-market how we can help customers with the solutions that we have now these these composable solutions um things that we're launching this quarter but also things that we're going to be launching throughout the, the next calendar year as well so that's a huge one and then of course um mindy kaling you gotta you gotta get you gotta you gotta, you gotta tune in for her as well yeah the, any <laughs> office lovers out there you yeah. gotta go <laughs> i just hope she doesn't bail like will smith Oh, so, no. I'm just joking. B bitter from a few years ago. <laughs> a few years ago for Will Smith, we actually had a Will Smith cutout at our American Eagle booth, and then he didn't come, so we were just kidding around Will Smith. So, <laughs> oh, so, no, anyways, I, so, I didn't even know that. That's good. That, that was like four or five years ago. It's still funny, though. Um, any any specific client case studies that you might be think of interesting this year? Well, that's actually one of the big things that we're doing this year is um, – it's very focused on customers. It's very fo focused on customer use cases. So it's n it's it's less um, about it's less about technical details, right? And it's more about hey, how what business problem did I have, and how did this particular thing solve it? How easy was it for us to get up and go to market? I think this is the big big thing about our composable story. We're going to have people out there who are actually talking about even some of these early products and how quickly they were able to, to go to market with the, the the new solutions. And I think that's going to be the big, because that's what people want, right? They want to understand business problems, what, what, it, what it solved, how fast, is there ROI there? They don't really need to know the bits and, the, and you know, the, the tech parts of it. Yeah. The, the one product that I've seen that's been a, particularly catching a few customers' eyes is Sitecore Send or Moose Send. Mm -hmm. It's had a client call us the other day saying, hey, we want to put out a, a form. We just want to start signing people up to listen, start blessing emails. Like, what does Sitecore have to offer? I'm like, go to Moose Send's site and you can sign up for yourself and start playing with it right there. So I think Sitecore getting into that space, starting to play in that space is definitely a great barrier for entry, especially yes. with clients, is you don't have to go through a massive discovery cycle. You can start playing with the technology right there. I know Order Cloud has something sim similar and then I think you guys are going to be having a few other sneak peeks as well here in the next week. We are. I mean, yeah. that's that's it's, it's great that you brought that up because that is actually a direction as from the top. This is what we want, right? We want to make it easy for people to try things out, to look and to touch and to feel. 
um, without having to your point about having to go through this kind of you know laborious and then full contracting process and all that make it easy right that's and that's what that is what we really saw from the Musen um, side that is what we see with the order cloud.io side and then you're going to see that um, with you know some other things that we're going to be announcing very cool Maggie how about you what 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 has you most excited about symposium especially around any speaking sessions that's caught your eye yeah, I mean, again, going back to talking about just a, the fact that we have a lot of great clients that are going to be attending the conference this year. One of the ones that really stuck out to me was from Lee Miles, the chief customer success officer at Sitecore. Um, and it's the one entitled the Sitecore customer life cycle. And again, it's really just talking about Sitecore bringing in the right people and the right strategy to create this suite of products so that it can help people not just from you know, the contracting and the implementation, but what are what's it going to do to set them up for the future? So not only do I want to hear that from my perspective, because I'm as a project manager working day to day with these clients, but also because our clients are going to be there. And I know that's something that they're most interested in hearing about. Yeah, I'm sure we'll hear a bit about Sitecore's new 360 services possibly as well. I mean, Sitecore is very partner friendly. It is partner first. But I think a lot of clients and prospects want the software company to also be strategic yep. and also customer for, customer first. So I think um, for those that are attending, checking out the Cycle 360 services will also be a great way and a great way to help solve that. Really, the partner, the client. Yeah. And Sitecore working together. And, and actually, actually, it's going to be Marvin Windows is going to be talking about that and what the um, how because, again, we are 100 percent partner first. But this this um, Sitecore 360 offering is really a complement to that and it gives them it helps the, with the hand holding it helps with the um just validating you know from the software side hey is this you know does is this the direction in addition to including a lot of other cool things like um a lot of training seats um if you know across the product lines includes advisory services and things like that so perfect. um there's a lot there's a lot in there perfect maggie any other client case studies or things that you're going to be definitely attending next week um, I will definitely be attending the sessions for United Airlines with Mr. Jonathan Price and also the content or the customer showcase with our own Casey Stanitz talking about their implementation with Content Hub and how they utilize that to leverage their business goals as well. So really looking forward to attending those sessions. Wonderful. So, Corey, you obviously have the inside scoop on next week's symposium. We know you can't give away everything, but what other sneak peeks can you share on some possible exciting announcements. Well, I, I talked about the um, the Sitecore search, so that's and people know about that. That and, I'm, and, I'm, and we're also going to be talking about the XM Cloud. Um, but there's a lot of there's a couple of other really really fun um, fun pieces that were uh, around Content Hub, um, new things that we're going to be doing with the Content Hub, and new things that we're going to be doing um, with integrations and an integration framework. So um, it's definitely worth showing up for Dave's presentation. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. And just for the current Sitecore customers or even individuals considering Sitecore, Corey, what's the best way for them to get in contact? Let's say they're existing Sitecore customers. Should they be reaching out to the Sitecore rep? What's the best way to kind of explore these new tools? Yeah, for sure, the the Sitecore rep. If if you if you if you don't know who the who your your Sitecore rep is, you can always just go on on uh, to Sitecore dot com and fill out a little form for the a, you know a demo and then they'll you'll get connected with the right person but otherwise your site core rep would love to hear from you and for americanule.com's presence we have a booth we are a titanium sponsor at this year's site symposium spot 227 we're gonna be right next to the site core core so please swing by our localized water cooler at our booth Corey, maggie we're all very excited for this year's symposium in the direction site core is heading I greatly appreciate your time today and for swinging by the Sitecore Water Cooler to discuss your experiences and what you're looking forward to at this year's symposium. We hope to have you both on again soon. Thank you. It was yeah. super fun. Thanks for having us. Thanks again to Corey Solly and Maggie Burke for joining us today on the Sitecore Water Cooler podcast, a casual conversation between colleagues and peers centered around all things Sitecore. I'm your host, John Price, and until the next time we meet at the Water Cooler, be sure to subscribe to the Sitecore Water Cooler podcast today wherever you find your podcasts. This episode is brought to you by AmericanEagle.com Studios, with special thanks to executive producers Renee Nelson, Julia Klepich, and Brian Winger.